Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brennan with Trail 4Runner and TrailTacoma.com and today I'm super stoked to show you guys this new rooftop tent by Inspired Overland. It's only 87 pounds, comes with everything that you need to run it. Telescoping ladder, memory foam mattress, rain fly, weather resistant PVC coated bag, the list goes on. This thing on paper has every single aspect that you would want in a rooftop tent. It's really nice. We just spent back-to-back -back weekends in Northern California camping in this thing. We did three nights straight in this tent and we just got back and we're just airing it out right now. So I wanted to give you guys kind of an overview on how the tent worked, what it's all about, kind of its features and benefits and just go over why I think that this tent is so impressive and it's only 1500 bucks. Let's jump in. All right, guys, before we jump into the actual review here, I just want to give you a little bit of context on me and how many tents I've run on Jade here. It's our 2016 Trail Edition Premium, and I'm obviously running the Inspired Overland rooftop tent right now. Before this, I ran a Badass Tents Molly Pack Out, a CVT Mount Hood, a GFC Version 1 RTT, and then on my Tacoma, I've run the, or am running right now, the Platform Camper Version 2. So I've run a handful of tents, and over time, what you start to experience with all of these rooftop tents is that you want to reduce the weight as much as possible, right? That's the biggest problem in rooftop tent land, camper land, is weight. That's why the GFC kicks so much ass, because our camper is only 268 pounds. That's awesome. The rooftop tent's only 140 pounds. That's awesome. The CVT, for example, is 225 pounds. That's not awesome. So I was running the CVT Mount Hood on the 4Runner, and I was experiencing some seriously poor body roll and nose dive and on road handling and a loss of mpgs the list goes on right when you add a bunch of weight to your roof it makes your driving suck a lot of ass so the cvt is 225 pounds and then you start adding a bunch of stuff on top of that right you got solar systems you got max tracks, you got recovery boxes, you got so many things that you can start putting on top of rooftop tent. And at the end of the day, you can weigh down a rooftop tent like the CVT Mount Hood that starts at 225 pounds. You can easily get to like 260 pounds. 260 pounds as a boat anchor on your roof is not a good idea. It's a horrible idea. On grades through Colorado, Jade was suffering. The brakes suffer, the chassis suffers, everything suffers when you start putting almost 300 pounds on your roof. It's not a good idea for a daily driver. Now, if you go camp every single weekend and you're like, hey, Brennan, I love the CVT Mount Hood. That is my product. Awesome, cool, good for you. Go run it, do your thing, put a bunch of weight on your truck and go run your camp scenarios how you run it. I'm not hating on the product, I'm just saying for me, and for a lot of people out there, I think the goal is a reduction in weight. And that's really what this is all about, right? That's what this product is all about. That's what GFC is all about. That's what the Molly Packouts from Badass Tents is all about. But price is also equally important. This is only $1,500. The Molly Packout shipped to your door at $2,000. Unassembled is a good deal too, but you have to assemble it. I wouldn't want to get a box of rooftop tent parts, nuts and bolts and straps and tent material and tops and buckles and aluminum extrusions and sit there and play with erector sets for a rooftop tent on the top of my 4Runner. I just wouldn't want to do that. But it's an option, right? If you want the Molly Pack Out assembled and shipped to your door, it's like 2,600 bucks. So this is a thousand dollars cheaper. And I just compare it to the Molly Pack Outs because it's the only other tent on the market that's also like 85 or 87 pounds. There's really two products that are a clamshell design that are 87 pounds. And that's the Molly Pack Outs and that's the Inspired Overland. So the Inspired Overland's 1,500 bucks. Molly Pack Outs like 2,500 bucks. So it's a thousand dollars more, or you can have it shipped to your house and you can put it together. So, with all that said, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of context on how many products I've run, my experience with rooftop tents, and why I think going with a lightweight rooftop tent is such a good idea. Real quick, I do want to give credit where credit is due, and that is to CVT, because they do make a really good product, and I did have a good camping experience with this product. I traveled through Moab for a few days, I traveled through Colorado for almost two weeks, I lived out of this rooftop tent for well over two weeks. 
and the actual experience of camping within the CVT was good. It was just the on-road performance was poor. I had a really poor driving experience going up and down grades through Colorado, and the braking experience was poor. So overall, the rooftop tent, the quality of the CVT is very high. It is a really nice product, and if you do camp every single weekend, it might be a good product for you. But if you only camp a few times a year, I don't think the weight is worth the spend. And there's an opportunity cost somewhere, right? Sometimes you have to forego all the features that are built out in some of these rooftop tents in order to have a better driving experience all the way around. So let's finally jump into the Inspired Overland and see what this rooftop tent is all about. All right, guys, let's talk about the construction of the product overall. So they start with these one and a half to two inch aluminum extrusions all the way around the entire frame. And then on the outside of that, they coat the underside of the PVC bag, which is basically like a tonneau cover, kind of soft like leather material. And they have these L brackets that sandwich the PVC material to those inch and a half extrusions. And then on the outside, of the aluminum extrusions, but inside this bag right here, if I fold this back, you can see they have these billet brackets that bolt everything together in the corner right here. And then more billet brackets that hold all these pieces and parts together. So the construction is actually pretty impressive for what it is, again, at 1500 bucks. And then on the underside, they have the same one inch aluminum extrusions that run across the entire rooftop tent on the floor. And that's what supports the actual floor, which is like an ABS-like hard plastic coated material on the bottom of the floor. And then above that hard ABS-like plastic coated material, you have your actual rooftop tent tent material. And then you have a non-slip, non-skid, honeycomb-like floor that's kind of like a subfloor that goes underneath the actual mattress. And then the mattress comes with a little sheet that covers it, and it's an inch and a half memory foam mattress. So that's the construction of the product from the outside all the way inside to the mattress. It's actually pretty impressive. All right, so let's talk about mounting this actual tent. The cool thing about Inspired Overland is that they give you two different options for mounting the tent. They give you two sets of brackets, all the hardware for both of those brackets, and then they also include a 13 millimeter wrench an open end wrench, which is pretty funny. So they give you everything that you need for the installation. And the two brackets are specifically designed for two different mounting scenarios. One's more of a universal fit bracket. And then the other brackets kind of specifically designed for like a CNC style rack like this with aluminum crossbars. So it's cool that they give you two options. All right, guys, let's talk about all the features on this rooftop tent. And there are a lot of features. So. Number one, we have the telescoping ladder. Obviously you get a ladder. It comes with a bag, which is pretty nice too. The bag matches the fabric of the tent. That's pretty cool. But the coolest part about their ladder system is that they have three points that you can mount this ladder to. You have two plastic brackets right here. You have two plastic brackets right there and two plastic brackets on the driver's side. So you can mount it driver, passenger, or on the back side. Pretty cool. Feature number two, these telescoping poles right here. And they're kind of a dual purpose feature of the tent. You can run them as a structural support to the overall tent, twist it into place to lock it, or you can run it as a rainfly pole. I found that I didn't really need to run it as a structural support because the tent is already pretty sound overall. You don't really need that much more support it's not like this thing's gonna blow away in the wind. But it's a nice feature to have, a little bit of peace of mind. When it's stowed away, it's gonna latch in the same place that the ladder's latched into right now. Feature number three, you got the rain fly. Rain flies are cool, but this rain fly does have some shortcomings. Comes from the factory with drilled holes out the back here, but those drilled holes are straight out. And typically rain flies like to sit at 45 degree angles so they keep the tension on the top of the door cover really stiff. These don't do that. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, guys, we got one rain fly pull in and another one. I'm gonna make sure that hook there catches it. 
And so see what I mean? These rainfly poles stick straight out. But all you would need to do to fix that is to drill 45 degree angle holes to stretch this guy out. And just like that, your rain fly will be set. But it does come like that from the factory, so something needs to be addressed there. Feature number four, you have the storage compartment. So a storage compartment's gonna be nice for anything that's small and lightweight. So like socks, little iPhone charger maybe, a beanie, something like that, right? Really lightweight, small things. But as soon as you start putting weight inside of it, it's gonna sag down quite a bit. And in really windy situations like this, like you can clearly see it's windy out, it does make a little bit of noise, but our windows are open, so I don't think it's gonna be moving around too much, but the tent material on the top up here can move too, so it's something to think about. If you wanna take it off, you can. That's what's cool about it. There's four hooks on all four corners, and they just hook onto these little stretchy points right here, and those guys latch into place. So that's cool. Feature number four, storage organizer. Let's go. Feature number five, we have gas struts. And the reason why that's a feature is because these gas struts are located on the inside of the construction, not the outside. Some rooftop tents have the gas struts mounted on the outside. And I don't like that because over time, dust, debris, particulates, that kind of stuff can add up and kind of build up around the gas strut, which over time, you know, isn't good for the overall longevity of your gas struts. So having gas struts on the inside of the construction is a huge win. Feature number six, we have the boot bags. So the cool thing about the boot bags is you have two of them. You have one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side, and they buckle when they roll shut like that. It's pretty cool. The only downside about the boot bags is they're not gonna fit like a size 13 Timberland boot. So let me give you an idea of what this looks like with one of my vans. This is a size nine, a men's nine fits perfectly. So like if you wear a size 12, it's probably not gonna fit in there. And again, no big boots, but normal size shoes are definitely going to fit great in the boot bag. So let's not call these boot bags, let's call those shoe bags. Feature number seven is another storage compartment at the top of the rooftop tent towards the door. So that's what you're looking at right here. It's a much smaller compartment than the one that sits on the roof, but I think it's a little more functional for carrying heavier items. It's got three straps and they're all very close together. So you can put an iPhone in here. You can put all kinds of things in there. I'm pulling on this thing right now pretty hard. Oh, I just pulled it so hard. One of those things just snapped off. So, boom, let's put that guy back in there. Actually, that wasn't right there. Where did that guy go? Oh, there it is. It's got more stretchy points right there. And that's it. That is feature number seven, another storage compartment up top. All right, guys, check this out. So I just noticed this feature number eight. This is a small little buckle strap up here in the corner. The ISO is gonna be pretty blown out, so you can't really see that. But there's a little strap, a little Velcro strap sitting up there that you could use to hang whatever, an LED lantern or anything of that sort. Feature number eight, random Velcro strap in the corner. Number 10, we have the memory foam mattress. So the memory foam mattress on this rooftop tent is super plush, super comfortable, comes in at an inch and a half, but then also has this non-slip, non-skid subfloor underneath that adds to the overall plushness of this memory foam mattress. So it's super comfortable. My girl and I both fit in here perfectly fine. It was comfortable, we slept in here for three nights and had zero problems. It was great. This memory foam mattress is probably one of the best mattresses that I've slept on in a rooftop tent. And again, I've slept in a handful of rooftop tents, campers, stuff like that. So it's pretty comfortable for what it is. I really like it, man. Feature number 10, this rooftop tent is plush. So in terms of length, how long is it? In a realistic scenario, I'm 5'9", and I'm at the edge right now. My feet are down there at the edge. And just right now, sleeping on it, I'm like, dude, this thing is plush. It's super comfortable. I don't have that much room. You only have like, whatever, six, eight inches up there. So if you're a super tall dude, 
like 6'2". This might not work for you. If you're an NBA player pushing 7'1", this is definitely not going to work for you. But I think anybody around like the six foot and under mark, I think this is going to be fine. But it's like nobody sleeps like this anyway, right? Who, who sleeps like a complete stiff straight board? <laughs> no one, man. No one sleeps like that. So I don't know. You got all kinds of different sleepers. You got the stereotypical fetal position guy. I don't sleep like that. I think that's over-exaggerating a little bit. But, you know, boom, you got one of those. I sleep on my stomach. So I'm like this, usually, with a pillow with my leg out to the side or something like that. So, you know, you got all kinds of sleepers. So I don't think that anybody is going to have a problem. Even if you're like 6'1", 6'2", whatever, I, I think that you, you, you could come over here and kind of sleep at an angle like this, boom, and be totally fine, right? That's a very realistic look. Doesn't that look like I'm actually sleeping? So you get the idea, right? I'm 5'9". You can kind of see how I'm moving around in here and get an idea of, like, the space I have around me. So hopefully that helps you guys get an idea. But this memory foam mattress is super nice. I like it. And it's probably my favorite part of this tent, other than that it's only 87 pounds and 1500 bucks. The actual memory foam mattress is really, really, really comfortable. So that's number 10, the mattress. All right, guys, let's break this guy down. If you have never broken down one of these ladders, it's very simple. Kind of position the ladder and the rain fly right there in the center maybe towards the front just a little bit perfect take down your poles You can leave that up if you want to. And grab your handle. And I think we're about ready to pull this guy down. There you have it, guys. All right, guys, that's it. That's the Inspired Overland rooftop tent. It's only 87 pounds, comes with everything you need. It's got a ton of features, obviously, and it's only 1,500 bucks. Super good deal, super good product. I'm stoked on it. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys, but until next time, I'll see you on the trail.